A functional skills level 2 math exam is a crucial qualification for individuals seeking to enhance their mathematical skills for practical applications in everyday life, work and further education. It can take as little as 6 weeks to complete the course, which is much quicker than the GCSE maps, which normally takes 6 months to learn. So if you're looking for a career that is not too heavily quantitative or a shorter version of a math qualification, or simply interested in improving your math skills, then this is the course for you. So today, let's explore the five key aspects of this qualification to provide a clearer understanding of what it entails and how you can prepare for it effectively. Number one, structure and purpose. Unlike traditional maths exams that focus heavily on abstract theories and complex algebra, functional skills maths is designed to assess practical numerical abilities that are essential for real life situations. This qualification is equivalent to a GCSE grade four, making it an essential requirement for employment, apprenticeships, and further studies. The exam consists of two sections, a non-calculator paper and a calculator paper. For the non-calculator section, which is shorter, assess your ability to perform basic arithmetic and problem solving without the aid of a calculator, thereby reinforcing essential numerical skills. The calculator sections allows for a more complex problem solving requiring logical thinking and data interpretation skills. Unlike the conventional exams, functional skills maps emphasis on application, meaning that candidates have to demonstrate how they use mathematical knowledge in everyday tasks, such as budgeting, measurement, data handling, etc. Aspect number two, number operations. The second key element of the exam is focused on number skills. This is foundation of mathematical applications, including essential topics like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. However, the exam doesn't merely test whether you can perform calculations. Rather, it evaluates how well you apply these in real-world scenarios. For example, you could be asked to calculate discounts when you go shopping, uh, compare financial options, or determine the cost of multiple items when working within a budget. Fractions, decimal, and percentages are also tested in this section, reinforcing the need to understand conversion between them accurately. Moreover, knowledge of ratios and proportions are tested because these concepts are widely used in, say, recipes, uh, financial planning, and doing everyday comparisons. This exam includes basic algebraic reasoning, such as working with simple equations, and solving for unknown values. While functional skills maths does not require advanced algebraic manipulation, it does ensure that candidates can approach problems methodologically because the ability to break down problem and find a numerical solution is itself a vital skill in any profession. Masteries of these number operations ensure that individuals can confidently handle financial transactions, interpret statistical information, and make more informed data-driven decisions. Aspect number three, measurement, shape, and space. This section assess the candidate's ability to apply mathematical concepts to spatial reasoning, measurement, and geometry. Questions in this part of the exam often revolve around areas, volumes, perimeters, and units of measurement. Understanding how to measure length, weight, capacity accurately is crucial in many profession and domestic tasks from outdoor construction work to indoor design projects. Furthermore, knowledge of scale drawings and maps are examinable, helping candidates interpret distance and dimensions effectively, such as converting between metric and imperial units, understanding relationship between speed, time, and distance, or estimating scales on a map. With geometry, concepts like symmetry, angles, and shape properties are also examinable, because they are not only useful for profession requiring design and construction skills, but for actual activities like assembling furniture, navigating routes, or planning layouts, etc. Aspect number four, data handling and statistics. So in today's world, dominated by numerical data, the ability to interpret and analyze information is invaluable. This section tests your ability to work with different types of charts, graphs, and tables. 
candidates will be required to extract information from the bar charts, the pie charts, the line graphs, in order to identify patterns and other meaningful conclusions. Additionally, understanding of averages like range, mean, median, mode are important aspects of this section. For example, you may be asked to determine what is the average cost of production, uh, analyze trends in a data set, or compare sales forecasts between two businesses, etc. Probability is also a key topic, with questions requiring candidates to assess the likelihood of an event happening. These sections will help the candidates develop a strong analytical mindset that is applicable to their personal and professional lives, whether we're talking about understanding market swings, uh, scrutinizing business reports, or even making decisions related to your own personal finance. Proficiency in data handling is a crucial skill. Aspect number five, real life applications. In functional skills math, the ability to break down complex problems and then identifying a logical solution is at the core of these qualifications. Because many of the questions are actually scenario based, meaning that they mimic the real life situations in which mathematical reasoning is required. For example, candidates may be asked to calculate interest rates, estimate household expenses, or analyze wage deductions based on tax percentages. The emphasis is about thinking critically and applying logical reasoning rather than simply recalling formulas. This real-world focus is what makes functional skill maps an incredibly useful qualification because it helps individuals become more confident in their ability to manage everyday numerical challenges. Employers highly value the skill because it demonstrates the candidate's ability to think on a practical level, therefore making accurate calculations and applying maths in the workplace scenario. So there you have it. The Functional Skills Level 2 Maths Exam is a qualification designed to equip candidates with the numerical and an analytical skills necessary for practical purposes. From its structured format to the focus on number operations, measurement, data handling, and problem solving skills, this exam ensures that the candidates will gain the valuable mathematical skills that are directly applicable in real life. So, whether you're pursuing employment, further education, or simply looking to enhance your confidence in maths, this qualification will provide you a pathway to success. It's not just about passing an exam. It's about developing lifelong ability to use maths in a way that benefits you in both a professional and a personal capacity. If you found this video to be useful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel where we'll give tutors like you the insider knowledge you need to get ahead at school and helping you get the best grades possible. Together, we will help you thrive to reach your academic goals. And please share this video with anyone who you think may be useful and feel free to leave a question in the comment section below. If you'd like to improve your functional maths performance, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me or with our team of professionals. The contact information is on your screen right now. I'm Dixon Wong from The Pros. Thank you for watching and I wish you the very best of luck with your studies.